Hello, my name is Carrie and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a slow flow. We're going to target the wrists, the arms, and the shoulders. So if you have any wrist issues, any shoulder issues, this might be a great class for you. So get yourself into something comfortable and we'll begin. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll get ourselves situated, arriving on your mat, taking a moment, closing your eyes, allowing your breath to settle here, maybe taking a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, ah, letting your shoulders relax down. And with your eyes closed, Doing a scan from the tips of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Checking in to see how this beautiful body is feeling today. Noticing the quality of your breath. I'm going to focus on the breath to start. So breathing all the way down into that lower abdomen and letting out a sigh. Bringing your breath in and out through your nose. Noticing cool air flowing in and warm air flowing back out. Noticing if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more. We're going to breathe in for the count of three, then we're going to hold for three, and then we're going to exhale for the count of six. So let's all take a breath in, two, three, Hold it here, two, three, and then exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale, two, three, hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale. Hold and exhale. And once more, inhale, hold and exhale. Bringing your breath back to its natural rhythm. You can flutter your eyes open. Let's take the shoulders up, ears, letting them roll down your back. See how your chest expands a little bit more, creating some more space for your lungs to expand. And then we'll bring our hands together, maybe bringing the fingers in. And we're going to do a little work with these hands here, maybe letting your elbows relax down. We're going to make figure eights with those wrists. So starting with working at those wrists, see how that feels. And then maybe taking it in the other direction, which feels very strange. And then shaking those fingers out. We're going to send the hands out. Palms are pushing out. Fingertips pointing up. See if you can spread your fingers out nice and wide. Beautiful. And then tipping your fingers down towards the floor. And then bringing them back up towards the ceiling. Sending them down. And bringing them up. Once more, let's send those fingertips down. 
and bringing them back up. And then we'll make fists with our hands. Let's take those wrists into some circles here. Noticing how it feels at any time. If it's not feeling right for you, just don't do it. And then the other direction. You don't want any sharp pains, just a gentle stretch. And then shaking those hands and wrists out, we'll bring our palms together and lift the elbows up. So we're going to see if we can open up our fingertips today, keeping the heels of your palms together and see if you can just open up the tops of your fingers without letting your elbows drop down and then bringing those fingertips back together and opening them up and closing, opening and closing. Let's do one more. See if you can open up, even if you can just with your mind open those fingers and then closing. And then we'll gently pull back onto the left fingers. Beautiful. Let's do the other side, pulling gently back on the right fingers. Nice. And then we're going to take our right hand and just gently pull that uh, left thumb away and then pulling the pointer finger down, the middle finger down, and then the right finger down, and uh, ring finger, and then the pinky. Good. And then we'll go back to the pointer finger. Let's see if we can touch our thumb to our middle finger, our ring finger, and our pinky finger. And then Pulling down on the middle finger, let's see if we can touch our thumb and our pointer finger and our ring finger and our pinky finger. And then we'll go over to that ring finger, pulling it down. Let's see about touching thumb to pointer, middle, and getting it all the way over to that pinky. It's a bit tricky. <laughs> and then we'll take the pinky finger, pulling it down. Let's do the pointer, the middle, the ring. Beautiful. And then just letting your hands shake out, maybe moving them up and down and side to side. And we'll do the other side. So taking your left hand, we're going to pull that right, uh, uh, right thumb down and then taking the pointer finger, pulling it down, middle finger, noticing how this feels in your wrist, then the ring finger, and then the pinky finger. And then from here, let's pull the pointer finger down, touching your thumb and your middle finger together, and then the thumb and the ring finger together, and the thumb and the pinky finger together. And then we'll gently pull down the middle finger and let's see if we can touch the thumb and the pointer finger and the thumb and the ring finger and the thumb and the pinky. And then we'll go to the ring finger. Let's do the thumb and the pointer, thumb and the middle, and thumb and the pinky if you can get it there. And then we'll pull the pinky down. Let's do the pointer, the middle, and the ring. Good. Shaking those hands out again, making them go in any direction. And then bringing your palms together into Namaste. We're going to do a little Namaste roll or a reverse Namaste. So we're going to send those fingers forward, letting your heels of your hands come apart and then bringing the backs of the hands together. And then bringing the palms of the hands together and then the backs of the hands together. Good, once more palms together and the back of the hands 
and bringing them together. Let's do it in reverse, bringing the palms or the backs of the hands together and then coming back up, palms come together. And reversing that circle. Good. And then giving those hands a little flutter. We're going to place our hands onto our shoulders. Let's work our shoulders a little bit, taking the elbows up, bringing them together and back down. Sending them up, moving with your breath and then bringing them down as you exhale. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. Nice, and with your elbows together, we'll reverse the flow. So sending the elbows up and then bringing them down. Making nice big circles, seeing how your left and right shoulder feel. There might be a little bit of differences, especially because we use one hand more than the other. Beautiful. And then sending your arms out, palms are pushing out, fingertips pointing up. Nice, strong arms. And we'll do some little circles here. Keeping those arms nice and strong and see if you can get your circles to get a little bit bigger and a little bit more until you have a nice big circle. And then taking it in the other direction. Starting nice and big and then slowly getting smaller and smaller. You'll notice this uses a little bit of core work just to keep yourself situated on your mat. And then we'll let those arms relax, bringing them forward and having your palms pushing out, fingertips floating up. So imagining you're on your hands and knees right now in your tabletop pose. And just noticing how that feels for your wrists. So if you're having any sharp pains just doing this, you know that maybe a tabletop is not good for you. And then we'll just slowly take those uh, palms up to the ceiling. So this is kind of how your hands are when you're in downward facing dog. So noticing if there's any stress or tension in your shoulders. And then we'll let the fingertips float back down to the earth, ah, letting them relax there, taking a moment. Ah, let's inhale, reach the arms up, bringing the palms together and back down to your heart center. We're going to take our hands onto our knees. We're going to do some seated cat cows today. So as you exhale, let's round the back, bringing your chin to your chest. And then as you inhale, we'll send the chest forward, nose coming up to the ceiling, and slight arch in your lower back. Exhale, rounding. And inhale, coming forward. Noticing how that feels for your spine. So any issues you might be experiencing in your shoulders, in your wrists, in your arms, it all comes from your spine. So when your spine is healthy and you can move it fluidly and freely, then it should help resolve any issues you might be feeling in those extremities. So we'll do two more here, moving with your breath. And then coming back into a seated position. And we'll bring our fingers back to the mat. Let's stretch the side body by bringing the left arm up to the ceiling and then slowly coming over to your right, 
keeping that left hip nice and heavy. Breathing here. And then back to center. Let's take the other arm up to the ceiling and coming over to the left. Right hip nice and heavy. And then we'll come back to center. And we are going to come on to our hands and knees. So if you were finding that this wasn't feeling great for your wrists, you might want to pad up something or maybe even bringing your fists down onto the mat. That sometimes helps alleviate any wrist tension. So you can make fists coming into our table position. So having your knees underneath your hips, having your wrists underneath your shoulders. And we'll do a few cat-cows here with that spine moving back and forth. Getting your spine nice and loose and limber, fluid and free. Beautiful. And then coming back to a neutral position, we're going to take our hands out away from our body. We're going to come into a thread the needle. So take your left hand and thread it through. We're going to let our shoulder, our left ear, and our right elbow relax down onto the mat. So taking a moment just with your breath here. Taking nice full breaths and imagine breathing into that upper back. Maybe imagining your upper back has uh, fins like a fish and you're breathing into them. This will help relieve any upper back tension, helping with any shoulder issues. And then we'll slowly bring ourselves back up, stretching that left hand a little ways of, uh, from your body. And we'll take the right hand, threading it through, letting your right shoulder, right ear relax on the mat. Left elbow relaxes as well. Taking some time again with your breath, making any adjustments so that it feels right for you. And then we'll slowly bring ourselves back up. And we're going to come into child's pose, bringing your hips to your heels. We're going to bring our arms behind us this time. So coming into a little seed shape, letting your head rest towards the mat. Taking a few moments, breathing all the way down that back body. Letting your shoulders relax. And then bringing your arms forward again. We're going to slide all the way down onto our bellies. Coming into a little sphinx pose. So elbows are underneath your shoulders. Uh, making sure your back feels okay like this. If it's too intense, you can come down a little bit or maybe come all the way down. Always listening to what works for you. And taking a few moments here, we're going to uh, look over to our right shoulder and then back to center and over to the left shoulder, back to center, and then taking your nose into a nice big circle. Uh, 
and then taking your nose in the other direction. Beautiful. Coming back to center, making sure those elbows are nicely underneath the shoulders. We're going to curl the toes under. We're going to come up into a little dolphin plank. So this is a good one to do if your wrists are tender and you can't do plank, you can always do dolphin plank. So using your core here, pulling your navel towards your spine. Taking a few breaths. And then we'll lower the knees, lowering ourselves all the way down. Let's bring the elbows out, forehead to the mat, taking a couple of moments to breathe here. And then we'll bring the elbows back underneath the shoulders, coming back into our dolphin plank, curl the toes, lifting the hips, coming into a nice long line, taking a few breaths. Let's do three breaths here, belly button pulling in. Beautiful. Let's bring the knees down and sending those hips back towards the heels, coming back into our child's pose, keeping your arms out in front this time. Maybe bringing your palms together. We'll come into a namaste hand mudra here, the back of your head. And then bringing your hands back down, we'll come back into our table position. We're going to send the left leg out, coming into our gate pose, bringing your hands onto your hips, and just taking a moment, see how that feels in that inner thigh there. Breathing. And then we'll reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Letting the left hand come back down to the left leg. We're going to reach the right arm up and coming over towards the left. Taking a breath or two here. And then sending that right arm back up, bringing the left arm up with it. Palms together. Let's bring them down to our heart center, all the way down to the floor. And then bringing that left leg in, we'll switch sides. Right leg goes out, bringing yourself up with your hands on your hips, taking a moment to see how this stretch feels for this right side. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up. Beautiful. Let's send that right arm down to the right thigh, left arm reaching up a bit more, and then slowly coming over to your right. And then bringing that left arm back up, right arm follows, palms together, and bringing them back down to the floor. We'll bring the right knee in, and we're going to make our way up to standing. So however you can get there, bringing yourself up onto your feet. We're going to start in our mountain pose. So maybe rocking back and forth, and then settling in to stillness. Taking a moment, bringing your hands to your heart center, closing your eyes, going inside and seeing how you're feeling as you stand here. See if you can get your knees over your ankles, your hips over your knees, shoulders over your hips and ears over those shoulders. 
Beautiful. We're going to flutter the eyes open, reaching up as you inhale all the way up to the ceiling. Let's take hold of the left wrist and bringing it over to the right. Breathing into that space and then back to center. Let's take hold of the other wrist coming over to the left. and then back to center letting your arms float back down to the floor and we're going to come into a little front crawl this is always a good one to do for your shoulders so imagine you're swimming through this day with ease and grace and then we'll take a little back crawl Seeing how those shoulders are feeling. And to see who's running the show today, body or mind, we're not going to think about it. And we're going to bring one arm forward, one arm back. And then the other way. <laughs> Good. And shaking those arms out, shaking those hands and take your feet a little further apart we'll just let the arms sway from side to side remembering loose spine loose body good and then coming back to center back to stillness bringing your feet back in we're going to come into warrior one so sending your right leg back maybe having it on a slight angle left leg is moving forward and then bending into that knee you know wiggling it forward so you can get a nice stretch keeping that back leg nice and solid Maybe checking that your front toes aren't um, hidden by your knee. So opening up that knee. And then we'll reach the arms all the way up. And then let the elbows bend. Maybe bringing that chest up towards the ceiling. Breathing in the beautiful energy of nature. And then we'll bring the palms and the elbows together and then opening as you inhale, exhale, bringing them together, inhale, and exhale. Once more, opening up and bringing them back together. We're going to do um, reverse warrior here. So take your hands behind you. See if you can bring the palms together and then flipping like this, flipping those palms up. So it might be a little intense for your wrists. If it's too intense, you can just hold on to your elbows. And then we'll slowly come forward, maybe bringing that left shoulder to your left knee, a little humble warrior here. And then pushing into your left leg, let's bring ourselves back up, releasing your arms, giving them a shake. And then bring your back foot forward, we'll shake those out. We'll do the other side, so we'll take the left leg back setting ourselves up for our warrior one bending into that front knee getting it nice and wide back knee is nice and solid and then we'll lift the arms up looking up and just bending the elbows so your chest is shining up towards that sun and then as you exhale let's bring the elbows and the palms together and inhale, opening, exhale, close, moving with your breath, beautiful, once more bringing those elbows and arms together and opening them up. Let's let the hands come down and see about a reverse 
Namaste, sending those fingers up your back if you can get them there or just holding on to your elbows. And then slowly hinging forward, bringing that right shoulder towards your right knee. Breathing here. And then pushing into that right knee, let's come back up, releasing the hands, shaking them out. We'll bring the back foot forward and coming all the way back down onto the mat. Sending your legs back out in front of you. And we'll bring the right leg in, left leg stays out. Let's reach the arms up and exhale, folding down. Just holding here wherever you end up. Breathing into any tight spots. And then rolling back up. Let's set our left hand onto the right knee, right hand behind. Coming into a spinal twist here, looking over your right shoulder. Hips stay nice and solid, just moving from the upper body. And then we'll slowly come back around. Let's bring the right knee up with us, bringing that right arm around the knee. The left arm can come behind. Looking over your left shoulder, keeping both sits bones on the mat. And then unwind, let's send that right leg out, bringing the left knee in, foot to your inside of your leg, reaching up. And exhale, folding down, seeing how this side feels. Relaxing your shoulders. And then we'll slowly come back up, taking the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind, looking over our shoulder. Nice spinal twist here. And then coming back to center, let's bring the left knee up with us. Wrap that left arm around the knee, right hand behind. Keeping both sits bones on the mat. Breathing down into your belly. And then slowly come back around. And let's bring ourselves back into our seated pose. We're going to take our right hand and just give that left arm a massage. Maybe squeezing it, forearms, moving your wrist around, sending some love down into those arms. And then we'll do the other side. Arms a massage, a little squeeze, rotating your um, your wrists. Good. And then shake them out. Let's come all the way down onto the floor. Getting yourself comfortable. Nice long spine. Taking a moment with your feet coming to the edge of the mat, knees collapsing in, we'll place our hands onto our stomach, letting your shoulders relax and close your eyes here. Let's breathe down into our hands. Noticing the quality of your breath.
And then from here, just let your knees float down to the right. And then back to center and over to the left. Back to center and the right. Just moving with your breath. And then coming back to center, let's bring the right knee into our chest, sending that left leg out, maybe pointing and flexing your feet. Then we're going to come into a twist here, taking your left hand on your right knee. Your right hand can come out like a T-shape. And then slowly letting your right knee float down towards the left. Keeping your shoulders resting on the floor, making any adjustments so that it feels right for you. And just allowing this left hand and the weight to bring the right knee a little closer to the floor. So you can look over towards your right hand, maybe closing your eyes. Breathing all the way back down to where your hands were when we were lying on our backs. With each exhalation, just noticing maybe yourself getting a little deeper into this twist. Noticing your back unlocking a little bit more. And then we'll slowly release the left hand, letting the right leg float down towards the right. So coming into a lying tree pose, you can bring your hands back to your stomach. We'll take this opportunity to give our abdomen a little massage. So starting at your left rib cage, just below there, massaging down to your left hip bone. And then over to your right side and maybe up to your right rib cage, and then back over to your left. So making a little circle, noticing if there's any lumps or bumps that need to be moved along. Then we'll bring the right knee back up. Let's bring both knees into our chest maybe rocking from side to side. And then keeping your left knee in, we'll stretch the right leg out, taking hold of the left knee with the right hand, left arm stretching out, and slowly letting that left knee float down to the right. Coming into our spinal twist on the side. Maybe looking towards your left hand. Breathing all the way down into your belly. And letting go. Release that left knee. Let's let it float down towards the left. Bringing your hands to rest onto your abdomen. Shoulders relax. Closing your eyes for a moment. Breathing back down into your hands.
then we'll bring both knees in, maybe setting a hand on each knee and taking those knees into circles. And then the other direction. Then we'll stretch the legs all the way out onto the mat, taking your arms up and overhead, mm -hmm. taking a nice big full breath in, maybe letting out a sigh. And then let your arms just slowly float back down by your sides. Palms facing up, closing your eyes, taking this opportunity to integrate all of the poses, all of the stretches today. Keeping your breath flowing all the way down into your belly. Feeling the beautiful support of the floor. Noticing the cool air flowing in. And the warm air flowing back out. And while you're here, today's meditative poem by Dana, Dana Faltz is Everything I Think I'm Missing. I'm struggling. There's who I believe I ought to be and who I am. It's humbling, isn't it? This being, this mystery, this me sits here radiating energy, yet I'm gripped by a nameless fear that I'm missing exactly what I came to experience. I'm suffering, telling myself stories of what life should look like. And then I get the message like a meteor, like the power coming back on after hours in a storm. This life, this extraordinary imperfection, this moment just as it is, this is all I'm here to receive. The infuriating, limitless simplicity of day-to-day -day living holds everything I think I'm missing. Beginning to come back into your room, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly making your way back up to a seated position. Getting your spine nice and long. Shoulders relaxed. And then bringing your palms together, we'll do a collective breath in through the nose and letting out a sigh through the mouth. So breathing in and out. Beautiful. May you have a wonderful day. Namaste.